Chapter 28. Turn right, now straight, now left. I got out of bed, threw aside the pajamas, and said goodbye to the pillows. Oh, how I wish I could take those pillows with me. They were so comfortable, not too plush, not too hard. It was like sleeping on a cloud. I started down the corridor with the crab following me, pinching my tail now and then to wake, keep me awake. Ouch! Eventually we found ourselves entering an immense room. By the entrance, a sign said, Maze of Mirrors. As soon as I looked around, I realized that the sign was a good description. It was a labyrinth full of mirrors. The walls were made of huge mirrors reflecting off each other, so each image appeared thousands of times. Moldy mozzarella. I was getting dizzy just standing still. Worried, I asked Chatterclaws, how will we make it through the maze without getting lost? Tapping a claw to his forehead, he boosted. Don't worry, Sir Knight. I found a map of the maze in the Dictionary of the Kingdom of Fantasy. I've got it all right here in the whatchamacallit. I mean, my brain, turn by turn. That made me feel a little more confident. We entered the maze and continued along our way with Chatterclaw shouting out directions. Turn right, now straight, now left, now right, now straight, now left. But after a while, disaster struck. Chatterclaw stopped shouting directions. He had forgotten them. Oops, he muttered. I sat down and began to sob. He could, how could this be happening to me? I was a good mouse. I never caused any trouble. Well, there was that one time when I accidentally cut in front of an old lady mouse at the shop and nibbled. She was so tiny, I didn't even see her. Anyways, where was I? Oh yes, I was wailing away about being lost forever. Never finding the silver unicorn, never completing the mission, and blah blah blah. Though when suddenly something strange happened, the diamond star that I wore around my neck began to shine, pointing the way out of the labyrinth. The light led us to the center of the maze. When I discovered the silver unicorn, without thinking, I grabbed the charm. It could be a trick, Chatterclaw tried to warn me, but it was too late. Suddenly, the floor opened beneath me, and I fell into a trap set by the Wizard of the Black Pearl. And as I fell, I realized the charm wasn't even the real thing. How did I know? The unicorn's eyes weren't blue, they were black pearls.